Robinhood is probably the most popular stock brokerage in our generation. In today's video, we're gonna be building a stock trading bot for Robinhood specifically. It will be a fully automated uh, trading system that we're gonna to code together. The link will be in the description below if you wanna download it, and let's see how well it does. Let's get started. All right, before we get started, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Dawson. Dawson actually landed me his Robinhood account. I, I am Canadian and we do not have access to Robinhood in Canada, but Dawson was nice enough to uh, lend me his account. Uh, so his Instagram is in the description below. Feel free to send, send him a DM and say, hey, thanks. Uh, without him, this I could not do this video. So anyways, now that we got that sorted out, um, what I've gone ahead, gone ahead and done is actually build out the code for this Robinhood trading bot, okay? So the GitHub, the actual code will be in the description below as well. I'm gonna go over how it works and then we're gonna actually run it and see how it goes. Uh, today is Sunday, so I can't, obviously the markets are not open, but tomorrow I'm actually gonna run it and I'll you know put it at the end of this video. But basically how it works is um, we use the Python RH um, library, which extends from, or which uses Robinhood's API. Now Robinhood's API is unofficial. Um, Basically, someone was able to scrape it or find it out, uh, but Robinhood has never actually publicly released it. So all the Robinhood libraries that you find are unofficial. So just be aware of that. They are maintained by a community, which is great, but it's not officially from Robinhood. So just be aware of that. So I, I import the PyRH library um, using pip. Um, once again, this is all in, in Python per se. And uh, we also use a couple other um, libraries, we use NumPy, Tulip for our indicators. We're gonna be using RSI, so we're gonna be basically buying when the RSI is below 30 and selling at 70, and then we use a scheduler. So um, that's kind of the uh, libraries that we need, which are all up here. So first, what we're gonna do is log into the app. So I instantiate a new class of Robinhood, um, and the constructor takes a username and password field. So you wanna put your Robinhood uh, email in here and your password in here as well. And then we uh, declare a variable called enter trade. So at the beginning, you know, we haven't entered a trade yet, so it's false. Um, and then we also instantiate our scheduler to constantly check when new uh, quotes and candlesticks are coming in, okay? So we have a run method that passes in a scheduler, okay, that we call down here. So basically I call it every minute to check for new updates, and then we call the run method. So let's talk about this method. So first of all, um, with Python, when you define a method, you have to, if it's a, if you have a global variable to use that variable, you do have to uh, put global in front of it. So we just pass it on into here to make sure we're, we're, we're using it and it's referenced. Um, then I print, all right, let's get historical quotes. In this bot, we're gonna be trading forward it can be any uh, stock you have, but I, I just funded this Robinhood account with 50 bucks. So I chose a stock that everyone could trade with small accounts. So we're trading forward, which, you know, is trade around, you know, four or $5 per share. Um, so we get the historical quotes for forward and we get the current day or previous day if it's after market and we get five minute candles um, right here. And this is using the Robinhood library. And then I instantiate a, an array or a list uh, I believe it's called in Python called close prices. Then for each historical data, I append the close price of that data into the uh, the new close prices uh, array list. And then what I do next is, so um, we're using the RSI indicator, which is the relative strength index. And we're using that from the tulipi, tulipi, Tulipi or Tulipi uh, library. And that requires uh, for us to convert it to an NP array, uh, which is NumPy. Um, it just, you know, it's, there's some type of data structure that NumPy has that Tulipi prefers to use. So we just confer, con um, make a new variable called data, all uppercase, uh, and we convert it to an NP array with our close prices. And then we create an RSI variable with the Tulipi library, you know, ti.rsi. We pass in our close prices and then we say a period of five. So we're using five minute candles and um, a five minute period for an RSI. 
Then what we do is to uh, to place a buy or sell order on Robinhood. We need to get the actual instrument ID. So we create a new variable called instrument, and we say, um, all right, get Robinhood instruments. F F is the symbol for forward. And then from here, basically, we check if the R if the last RSI is less than equal to thirty, and we have not entered a trade place a buy order for that instrument, just a market order, and we set enter trade to true. If the RSI is greater or equal to 70, and we've entered a trade, then place a sell order for that instrument with a quantity of one, and enter trade is false. And then we print the current RSI so we know what's going on. And then uh, we call our function again recursively after one minute, okay? So this is a very, very simple trading buy and a very simple strategy of buying when the RSI is below 30 and selling at 70. Um, so like I said, today is Sunday, so I'm going to fast forward to tomorrow and then we're going to see how it does and see if it's profitable. So um, I will see you guys then and I'm excited to see the results. I hope you guys are too. All right, what's up everyone? We are back and here are the results for the bot. It's currently 2.30 p.m. I stopped it around noon and it's up 0.06% today um, trading using the RSI indicator. So not too bad. Um, I was just trading Ford stock, which is a very cheap stock. It's around the four or $5 range and I was only trading one share at a time, um, but we can see it worked um and we made some money which was awesome now obviously we could optimize it a lot better and maybe i'll make future videos building upon from this bot but you can find this bot in the description below on my github and once again it works with robin hood so uh it's a very powerful bot to be uh to be able to use with that brokerage because i know robin hood is very popular so anyways here's the results i hope you guys liked it I hope you found value in this video and once again the bot is in the description below let me know in the comments if you want me to build upon this bot, if you want me to make it a bit more robust and complex, and we can make a master Robinhood bot. Um, so let me know in the comments below on that, but I do plan on building upon this. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this is Jacob here, and we'll see you next time. See you guys.